Right, well, today's video was going to be me reviewing some of the workshop, or not necessarily workshop vehicles, but just experimenting with different designs, and more importantly, just having a bunch of fun. Unfortunately, I got a bit carried away. So, today instead, we're just going to be screwing around, and I will try to make an ASU-looking type vehicle. Granted, there is a way you can actually preview other players models you've got to extract it into a folder and then download it and then you're able to use some of their models but i have a feeling i'll save that for later what i want to do in today's video is just screw around this is just after the suspension update uh and things are a little bit better with the game but overall uh having played about eight to nine hours so far of this game i'm having great fun like this this <laughs> There's just no way you wouldn't have fun playing this game. And I will say, yeah, while I'm trying to make an ASU looking type vehicle, my goodness me, it's been a bunch of fun playing this game. Uh, so many customization options. I have had to speed this footage up to 130% or else this video will be 20 minutes long. The thing about this game is it does take a really long time to design something and design it well and look at all the variables and then you've got to look at the engines and whatever. From my point of view, though, I tend to focus on the cosmetics and the size and dimensions of the vehicle before going into the actual transmission and uh, and actual engineering nitty-gritty. But, you know, for what it is, you're, you're getting an early alpha that looks really good. And granted, I'm doing things basically off memory. Uh, to try and make an ASU-looking vehicle is quite annoying. The idler wheel is slightly different and obviously the tracks are completely and oddly obscure so choosing the right track type can make the difference between making it look like a vehicle and not and yeah the front armor slope isn't quite correct we'll probably fix that in a minute but hey it is what it is and for for what i'm looking at here this just this game provides so much entertaining value i highly recommend you go and and check it out now, what I want to do is I want to be able to build several vehicles that I've been dreaming about. You know, I've often posted cursed things on Twitter. Go follow me on Twitter. And I want to make some of those vehicles. I want to try making a KV-6, a KV-5. I want to try doing all sorts of random things. Unfortunately, there isn't any round turrets per se yet. So you really have to be creative with how you do your, your turret placement. And you can't, mold, you know, put more than one gun on a given vehicle at any one time. You can't do open top vehicles because there is no way for you to really do that. There is no, I guess, bigger, rounder uh, parts that you can put on. And for the most part, it, it is a bit laboursome trying to get the vehicle just to look right. But it is a basic box builder and that's what you get. Creativity is yours if you really want it to be. Uh, and I struggle with this <laughs> quite a bit. It's it's a fun game, don't get me wrong, but it is a challenge, and I quite like that. Now, every ASU is not complete without at least some sort of log on the side. I'm trying to fit a placement for this thing. You can see it's a bit finicky where it wants to go. You sort of have to sort of really place it in the correct spot there. And uh, as... <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm enjoying my time playing this game, but this is one of the things that you do. You spend a lot of time messing around, you spend a lot of time uh, just fiddling. I have two twin stacks on each side like that. I don't know, that looks better than two double stacks in the center. Now I could put a fuel tank or two on, I'm not, I'm not entirely, entirely sure where that is. It doesn't have, really have a machine gun. For antennas and crew slots, I'm just ha having a look at the, the different things you can put on. And getting the transmission and suspension to work correctly in this game is possibly the worst thing I've ever had to experience. As you can see, I'm trying to put a light mantlet on the front of the vehicle and it isn't going to put it. <laughs> I mean, I could have put it there. It looks a bit funny. It's not quite an ASU. I guess that's why you design the box first, then place the gun. But or I'm designing everything else before placing the gun. I suppose that's really, that's really a Russian tradition there. You know, they make a tank and then they just, they just don't care. Right, now it's looking like a bit of an ASU-85, if you can even call it that. But at least I can mount the gun on it. It's not quite in the right proportions yet. 
I mean, it's close, but it's also not at the same time. Uh, what is it? A 57 mil? I think it's a 57 mil. Yeah. 50, 57. I know I can type in the box. There we go. Right, let's make it as thick as possible. Let's get ourselves a different uh, muzzle brake as well. Shell length doesn't matter. We'll put it at 50. There we go. Modify this one just slightly. There we go. Nice and chunky. Just a little bit shorter because that's what the ASU is like. And we'll give it no muzzle brake. I don't know. I haven't really decided. I think I, think I look forward to that one. Just make the length of the barrel just a tiny bit shorter. And then we'll move the gunner sight. Ta-da! I think we're done. I think. <laughs> just re readjust the log. Okay, you're gonna have to go back where you belong. Yep, come on. There we go. But yes, that's the extent of this game in its early stage. So yes, in the, in the next video, the next coming days, we're going to test out some different vehicles from what the community has created since this game's inception. And I hope to actually get a... <laughs> Look at this thing! Oh man. Yeah, I need to tweak the torsion bar. Again, there isn't really a tutorial in this game, so it'd be nice. For some reason, I can't fire the gun. I can't elevate the gun either. Oh man, we've got a bunch of tweaking to do. But in the next coming days, we'll be looking at some other user designs. And we're going to be testing them out and having a bunch of fun with that. So hopefully that'll make some entertaining content. If you like what you see, then uh, let me know in the comments down below. Because honestly, this is the best fun I've had in a very long time. And I think you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. So that's really the important part uh, right here. Got a sticky commander's thing on the top. Okay, it's still not working. No. Nah. Anyway, that's all I have to say. There's my rendition of an ASU. We'll get more creative as time goes on. Uh, and we'll see if we can actually make this machine work properly. Because I'd love to do some missions with it at some point. Anyway, my name is Ash. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.